Well, hello everybody. Hopefully this is working today because I've been having a bit of trouble. But in any case, um, I wanted to share with you uh, a little bit about what the president does on the weekends when most people are resting and working. Uh, I'm sorry, and, and having a good time. Well, I would say he's probably having a good time because he loves his work. Um, but um, I really do believe that uh, he loves his people and it is evident in everything that he does. I find that uh, I find this president absolutely um, impressive to say the least. And I think, and I've said it before that the presidents that are going to follow him are going to have a hard time keeping up with everything he's done. Uh, you know, like to try and and um, do some of what he did. Well, for first of all, he has a conference every day. Um, then he's traveling the whole country. There's just so much. But anyway, so this is a weekend. This is a day on the weekend, or a weekend uh, for President AMLO. Uh, quite an impressive... Uh, uh, thing that he does but um, anyway so let's go ahead and uh, start this and the people love him the people love how he goes in among them and we have a lot of indigenous um, people. We have a lot of indigenous people and um, everywhere he goes they want to put things on his head and um, honor him and, um, and he lets them and he loves it. He lets them touch him and hug him and he takes papers from them. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> They're loading him down. <laughs> Can you believe this? This was just happening a little while ago. The people just love him. And rightly so. So this is um, stuff that's taken right from the president's uh, channel. He has a channel called Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador official channel and he puts videos every day of where he's at, what he's doing, what his plans are and on the conferences he uh, uh, tells his people, his constituents what he's doing, what the plans are, um, and if there's anything that um, may need uh, the people to vote on it, he'll let them vote on it. Uh, putting a new uh, train, he put it out for the vote. Um, I mean, I, I suppose there's things that he doesn't have to ask them about. For example, where he uh, put the National Guard um, to, well, he did have to uh, pass it um, for Congress. They had to make a law allowing the National Guard to assist with the safety in the country. And so they were retrained in order to, um, to be able to uh, help the people because they actually, the way the law stood, they couldn't come in and help. And they only had 10,000 police. And imagine, there was 2,500 municipalities and only 10,000 police in the whole country. Um, I'm not really sure if uh, 
This is actually streaming. Let me check. Um, I'm trying to get another. For some reason, my um, YouTube page is not working uh, well with this, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, record it and download it afterwards. So I'm not sure if this is live on Facebook. Let me see. I would think it would be. Let's see. Uh, not sure. I'm, I'm checking on that right now. Okay. Nope, I don't see it on there. I'm really not sure. I've, I'm using a new um, format um, and uh, not really sure if it's going to work quite well, but apparently the um, the YouTube live um, part of it did not work, which it's okay. I'm still going to record it and um, and do the uh, adjustments. Uh, and basically, just. So anyway, usually he'll go and they'll do a whole lot of you know, ceremonial stuff, like they just did. Diálogo con los pueblos otomí y tepehua. El presidente constitucional de los Estados Unidos Mexicanos, licenciado Andrés Manuel López Obrador. It cracks me up. He's all loaded down with all these uh, artisan, artisan uh, uh, things that they put all over him. Oh, it looks like bread and flowers. El gobernador del estado de Hidalgo. But I'm not going to put. Okay. That's the governor of the state of Hidalgo. So he's got some, those look like, what are those things? Like those big pretzels. He's in charge of the indigenous uh, people, uh, like the, the, the main guy. So then what happens is, I'm gonna pause this for a second. What happens is they let them all um, speak their piece and then the president will talk to them um, a little bit and I'm going to kind of go through that kind of quickly on this one and just let you see what kind of um, uh, things happen on these uh, runs that he does every day uh, so usually he'll have a conference in the morning which is a press conference and then after that he'll go out amongst the I think there's like 2,500 municipalities and 30 some states and he'll go from state to state um, depending on how, how many he can fit in and he's going to see what the condition is of all the different uh, things like the hospitals, the roads um, and you know what happens he says well at least when I go they're gonna fix the roads because if there was potholes and they know that the president's coming <laughs> They're sure in the heck gonna fix it. But anyway, so this this um, is one video just to show you a little bit about how that goes down, okay? So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and start it and I'm gonna kind of move it, advance it through, let a few, then say a few words and then get to the president so you can see that. So I'm gonna go through, okay. So here's this gentleman talking. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. Everybody loves him. Seriously, they really like him a lot. So he says that, you know, usually what they talk about is, you know, like they're happy he's there and all that. Uh, let's see. Como nuestro presidente de la República, electo por el pueblo y para el pueblo that he was elected by the people and for the people. He says, we feel proud to be governed by your ideas of love and justice. And we are disposed to collaborate to push that elephant. 
And that elephant that the president refers to continuously is the elephant of corruption and getting things moving again because there was such a state of corruption that most everything uh, was um, almost privatized and sold uh, to uh, private interests and they left the people in such a state. Wow, you would you would not believe how bad things were. And, as, and with this, as you have mentioned, to eliminate corruption. And he said, well, as you have said, that we'll clean the stairs from the top down. Señor Presidente, nos reunimos las autoridades indígenas. And he says the the uh, indigenous authorities reunited or met or got united somehow grouped together. La región en una asamblea. And they came together in an assembly. La cual dialogamos para determinar nuestra visión de bien. And in in this uh, place we had dialogue in order to uh, discuss our vision para uh, for our territory. En este diálogo, and in this dialogue, que we established that para que país se that in order for our country to become developed, es que como y sean that our uh, rights as indigenous communities need to be respected. It is necessary. Dando reconocimiento a la Asamblea Comunitaria como nuestra máxima autoridad. And giving the Assembly the uh, recognition as their maximum authority. Para la toma de decisiones colectivas. For the taking of collective decisions. Esto además fortalecerá a nuestros pueblos. And this will also fortify our, our um, peoples. A través de nuestra fuerte organización comunitaria. And by using our strong uh, community force, con la we will be able to coordinate with the implementation de las de tu with the actions of your government. Also exercising and including the exercising of uh, the using of the resources uh, that are given in a direct manner. Because one of the things that happens is that the president knows that amongst the uh, indigenous people, they have a thing called tekio, which is they um, have to have honor, they're honorable. So he can give the money directly to the indigenous leaders and they will do the works that need to be done for the community and they will not uh, steal because they're honor bound. And uh, it's all done in a group setting, like he's saying, you know, everything's done collectively. Everybody, um, and, and also that it is um, like, trained and grained in them to be honorable uh, and to do community things to protect each other. Por ejemplo, en nuestra región, For example, in our region, es y for in our area, it's necessary to rehabilitate and create roads que a that will communicate our communities with the principal roads. And we realize that together we can uh, realize this. Esto en corto plazo que se and this will uh, uh, allow us in a short amount of time to generate jobs para gente for our people. Y se mueva la local y and that the local economy will be moved. Oh, so this is a picture. Once the live, so this was live streaming when we were doing it. So um, when this 
uh, live stream ends, then they put this up. So I'm going to have to go back to the, so see here's where I have the president's channel. So you'll get to see how I go to it. So see, you can see Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. That's his channel. And then I just go to the most recent thing. This one was recently, uh, the one we were just looking at was live and now it is no longer live. So now uh, where we were, where he was talking. Now let's just go ahead and go to the next person. Um, in fact, why don't we, just just so you could see. Y nuestras asambleas comunitarias tienen, sin duda alguna, un papel determinante. So here, um, they all are giving a chance to talk. And, and this is the governor. Yo espero que juntos podamos enfrentar la pobreza que todavía azota a nuestro estado. Yo espero ver... Okay, now if you notice, uh, the governor um, is not uh, liked as much. <laughs> um, as it turns out, the a lot of the governors of the states um, are not um, uh, really playing fair yet. <laughs> They're still uh, somehow, some of them, and I, I hope this is not one of them, but a lot of them are still using the ideas of the old regime and ripping off the people. And um, and they have these uh, very uh, expensive lifestyles and they pay themselves thousands or millions of dollars, I'm sorry, pesos a month, uh, and then uh, say they have no money for their, the, the things that need to be done for the community. So uh, most of the governors, a lot of the governors are not very well liked. Uh, so apparently they don't like this guy very much. If you can listen, let me see. Let's see if we can go to when he first came out. Como el segundo mejor esfuerzo nacional en combate a la pobreza en el país. Falta mucho por hacer para haber alcanzado. I don't think they like him. Millones de personas. Let me see. Y sobre todo a comunidades. Orden Estado de Hidalgo, Let's licenciado hear. Omar Fayad Meneses, nos dirija su mensaje. Let's see what the president has to say about how they act. Gracias, amigas y amigos. Gracias I can't hear what they're saying. Hermanas, hermanos indígenas, que hoy serán cita aquí en este importante foro, en este diálogo con los pueblos indígenas. Saludo con mucho aprecio la presencia de nuestro presidente y agradezco que arranque este año 2020 con nuestras hermanas y hermanos indígenas, con los más necesitados. Gracias, señor presidente López Obrador, por su presencia aquí en Terango de Doria, en el estado de Hidalgo. Muchas gracias, presidente. Saludo a Adelfo Regino, director general del Instituto Nacional de los... I can't tell if they like him or not. But anyway, let's go to the, see if we can go to where the president starts talking. You can usually see when, when they, he goes up. It sounds like they don't like him, I think. El presidente de México ha venido oficialmente como presidente 11 veces. He has come 11 times. Anterior a la toma de protesta, una más, 12 veces al estado de Hidalgo. He has come 11. Oh, he says. Gracias por estas visitas. 
y gracias por seleccionar a este gran estado para la puesta en marcha de los grandes programas y de los grandes proyectos de nuestro país. Vamos pues, unidos todos a luchar para favorecer a los indígenas de Hidalgo y de México. Gracias a todas y a todos. <laughs> wow. Okay. Damas y caballeros, escuchemos el mensaje que nos dirige el presidente constitucional de los Estados Unidos Mexicanos, licenciado Andrés Manuel López Obrador. They like the president, that's for sure. <laughs> Amigas, amigos, de Tenango, de Doria. My friends. Me da mucho gusto estar aquí con ustedes. It makes me very, it me very happy to, to be here with you today. Este día, a pesar del frío. Even though it's very cold. He says, but there's a lot of human warmth. Es lo más And this is what's most important. Estoy de nuevo con ustedes para informarles. I am with you once again to inform you. Now, the man before him uh, was saying that the president has been there to visit them 11 and 12 times counting the time he was inaugurated. Sobre cómo va el gobierno, qué es lo que viene, qué es lo que vamos a realizar. And he says, I'm here to let you know what the government is doing and what we are going to be realizing. En el futuro. In ya the future. Comenzó la transformación. He says the transformation has begun. Ya ustedes se dan cuenta de que estamos llevando a cabo un verdadero cambio. And he says, and you guys now realize that, or you all, uh, that we are actually taking forth a true change, transformation. Ya puedo decirles que no se permite la corrupción. I can now tell you that corruption is not permitted. Ya se siente, ¿verdad? And you feel it now, don't you? Yes. Se está limpiando de corrupción el We gobierno. We are cleaning the government of de corruption from the top to the bottom. The way you sweep stairs. He says, and corruption will end and impunity will end. Basically, like if I'm dying, I'm lying. And we are complying with the commitments we made. El precio de las gasolinas, del diesel, del We said that the prices of gas, diesel, and, gas y de la luz, y and regular gas and electric would not go up. Y cumplimos. And we kept that promise. Vamos empezando el año. And we are beginning the year. And what was the bad Porque habit? Este mes de enero, arriba la gasolina. And the custom was, in the past, that in the month of January, they would have a, a gas hike. Arriba, todo lo que tenía que ver con las mercancías. And everything that had to do with merchandise would go up as well. No. Not now. 
Inflation is controlled because and he says the price of everything is staying down because they're not allowing gas and energy prices to go up and this in turn holds down the price of inflation for this whole year and the whole six year term wow that is great also and he said also the public debt or the country's debt did not grow either But he said, it's easy to say you're putting uh, programs in, in place for well-being, but then you raise the debt? No. No. But instead, we are putting programs for well-being as never before. That, sin aumentar la deuda pública. that benefits the people without increasing national debt. The people love him. And he says, how are we doing no this? We do not permit corruption. He says, we're not permitting corruption because there was a lot of money that was going to just a few hands. El en el Meanwhile, the people were being abandoned. Se con los lujos. And we also put an end to the luxuries en el in government. Ya no hay los we no longer have the salaries that we used to have. Even 700,000 a month. Eso se that ya ended. No se les da la a los and no longer do we give those pensions to the ex-presidents. They were getting 5 million pesos a month in retirement. Ya no viaja el presidente de la República en avión, en helicóptero. And no longer does the president go and travel in a private airplane or helicopter. Ya se está vendiendo en California el avión presidencial. And the presidential airplane is being sold in California. Y se están por vender 70 aviones y helicópteros. And we also have 70 airplanes and helicopters for sale as well. No puede haber <laughs> gobierno rico con pueblo pobre. You cannot have in a, a rich government with people that are poor. Wow. Ya no hay Estado Mayor Presidencial. We no longer have a presidential state, which used to be like the president's entourage and safety detail. He got rid of that. Al he says, do you know how many used to take care of the president? 8,000 elements, which means people, units. That's how many they had guarding the president. He says, not even Donald Trump has that many bodyguards. Ya el Mayor Sus a formar parte de la 
Secretaría de la Defensa para trabajar en la Guardia Nacional y proteger, cuidar al pueblo, al presidente, lo cuida la gente. He says now those 8,000 units were put back into the National Guard to care for the people, and the people in turn take care of the president. And he says, and he that fights for justice has nothing to fear. And all of this had meant many savings. Por eso, se la and for that reason, we increased your pensions a los for the older adults. Ya no son 1160 pesos, sino 2550 hasta el año pasado. Y ahora va a Okay, so he said it went from 1500 to 2500 and now they're going to increase that at the beginning of this year due to inflation. Es decir, va a aumentar la pensión a adultos mayores. That is to say, there's going to be an increase on the pension for elder adults. Oh, no wonder the También people love him. Pensión para los niños, niñas con discapacidad. And he says we also are giving pensions for boys and girls with disabilities. Todos igual que el adulto mayor, su pensión. And all of them, just like the older adults, will have a pension. And we will continue to give them their grants. Y se van a para and we will amplify them for preschool, Primaria, primary school, uh, middle school, Todos los que and all the ones that go to prep school Subeca. will also get a grant. Eso es and that is in general. Now let me expand on this a little bit for you. When he says they get a grant, that means one of the um, things that was brought up, um, that he brought up before, was that uh, it was too hard for the children to uh, go to school on an empty stomach and try to learn. And, um, and even then, a lot of them had very uh, uh, conditions, very bad in the schools, you know, some of them had holes in the roof or no roof, no desk, no pencils, no papers, um, and definitely no food. Uh, so now what he does is every child um, gets a pension amount uh, that's given to them, or more like a grant, so that they'll have money to eat and buy food, I'm sorry, buy clothing and, and supplies for school. So all of them uh, are getting a grant and also all levels of education um, are now free for those that need the um, schooling. I mean, you can always pay if you want to go to a private school, but there's going to be uh, free government programs now. Education is free as it's um, in their constitution. It was always supposed to be free, but what they did was they privatized it and they um, were trying to uh, completely sell the whole thing. Fortunately, he caught it in time. The other thing was uh, free medical, free uh, medicines. Uh, everything's included. And that started uh, as they've been ev getting everything ready. Uh, they're still trying to finish building all the hospitals that were left in a state of... Um, uh, they were half done, a lot of them. Um, a lot of them were really bad state. The money that was sent, given to them to uh, have equipment was diverted and the medications were diverted and sold. Um, instead of being put in the medical uh, warehouses, 
they were um, they just said that they put him in there but they actually diverted him to pharmacies and sold it and then uh, so the, there was no medications in a lot of the hospitals and clinics but now he said that every clinic will have the same allotment of the medications so that if you're in a rural clinic and you need say a clot buster uh, something to prevent a clot or if you have a stroke anything like that all the medications will be available at all facilities plus he is uh, giving uh, special incentives to the people that want the nurses and doctors and other uh, technical personnel or uh, specialists if they move or work in the rural areas they're gonna get an extra bonus uh, or higher wages than those that work in the cities as an incentive for them to move to the uh, outskirts and help the people in the uh, uh, indigenous communities and all the areas in the outskirts. Anyway, just that's just a little extra uh, information for you, but here it goes. de familias de escasos recursos económicos, 2.400 pesos mensuales para que terminen su carrera. So he's saying that the ones in the higher level educations will get uh, 2,400 um, pesos a month so that they can finish their uh, education. Y los que no están estudiando, ni tienen empleo. And he says, and those that are not working and have no jobs, the youth they are being contracted in a program that's called Youth Creating the Future. And there are 900,000 youth now working in that program. In this program Están trabajando de aprendices. And they are working as apprentices. En talleres. In en shops. Comercios. Com shops, commerce. So that means like an auto shop or, I don't know, someone who builds furniture. Um, uh, any any type of li um, life, uh, uh, some livelihood. Uh, they can... Uh, get an apprentice that's paid for by the government so they'll have extra help and um, the peop the apprentices will be paid directly by the government. En empresas, porque queremos que los jóvenes tengan garantizada la oportunidad. Because they want to guarantee opportunities for the young people. Del estudio y del trabajo. For either education or work. Para que no in order that they will not be tempted and take the wrong road de la violencia. the road of violence and also I've heard him say the road of um, criminal activities Vamos por eso a and oh the, he also says delinquency usually and he says and we are going to be attending in a preferential manner a los the youth so he is paying special attention to the youth making sure that the youth now have opportunities whereas before um, there was only a select few that knew people in high places that were able to uh, uh, go to school um, you know to the higher level education uh, and now everyone is getting grants and everyone's allowed to go into college. Nunca más se les va a dar la espalda. And he says, never again will we turn our back on our youth. A los jóvenes. Vamos a seguir apoyando el campo. And we will continue to support the field work. Va a seguir Llegando el apoyo para los campesinos. 
Wow, I think that man was crying. <laughs> and he says, we will continue to give support for the field workers. He says, the landowners, the workers, or even the ones that own small properties. El programa que se conocía como Procampo ahora es Producción para el Bienestar. He says the uh, program that used to be called Procampo is now called Production for Well-Being. Incluye comunidades indígenas. And it includes the indigenous communities. Y productores de café. Coffee producers. Y en donde se produce... And where cane is produced. Se a los de caña. And they're also taking into consideration the uh, cane workers, the ones that have a sugar cane. Y va a este año and this year we are going to go into aquí en Tenango y en esta region, here in Tenango and in this region. El programa Sembrando Vida. The program called Planting Life. Les voy a explicar. He says, I'm going to explain it. ¿Cómo es ese programa? How does this program work? Que ya se está llevando a cabo en el sureste. It is already now going on in the southeast. En Chiapas, en Campeche. In uh, Chiapas, Campeche, Yucatán, Quintana Roo, Quintana Roo Tabasco, Tabasco, Veracruz. Veracruz. Y ahora va a a Puebla. And now it's going to start in Puebla. Va a a Hidalgo. It's also going to Hidalgo. Va a a varios otros estados. And it's going to go into other various states. And this program consists of se le da un apoyo. is we give you uh, some financial support Al to the producers. Se le da un jornal de cinco mil pesos mensuales. And we will give them 5,000 pesos a month. Para que siembre en su propia tierra. So that they can plant in their own land. En su propia parcela. On their own parcels. ¿Qué siembra? Pues, and what can they plant? Lo que se da en cada región. Whatever grows in every region. Café. Coffee. Árboles. Trees. Wood trees. Y con la milpa. And also with milpa. Con el maíz. Also with corn. Con el frijol. Beans. Y se le está con los cinco mil pesos. And we're helping them with 5,000 pesos. And you can work two, three from the family if you have the land. Y ya de esta manera, and now in this way, van a tener trabajo. you will have jobs. No es un, eh, programa de empleo temporal. And this is not a temporary job. It is not for a short time, no. Es para que se dediquen siempre mientras estemos nosotros en el gobierno. And it is for you to continue this onward until the whole time we're in government. Sembrar. To continue to plant. Los cinco años que me faltan. The five years that I have left. Van a tener siempre ese apoyo para estar you will have this financial assistance. Cultivando la tierra. So you can cultivate your land. Ya hay, este año, 500, 
500,000 hectares. So this year we already have 500,000 hectares que se están that are being planted. Porque se tienen viveros. Los están produciendo millones de plantas. Because we have these uh, growers that are producing thousands and millions of plants. Viveros de la misma gente, comunitarios y viveros también de la Secretaría de la Defensa. And we have growers from the community people and also by the uh, Department of Defense. We have 500,000 hectares and and there's 220,000 people planting as of now. But this year we are going to amplify it. The hectares we're going to get to a million hectares. So he says we're going to get, uh, wow, wait a minute, 450,000 more hectares for 40,000 more workers. ¿Qué es lo que and what is it that we want? Que el so what we want is that the workers no se vea a so that the people will not want or feel that they're obligated to immigrate. Because that one that wants to leave or has or leaves his people in his community Se vaya por gusto. will do it because he chooses to. No por Not due to necessity. Que el pueda y ser feliz donde that the worker can uh, work and live where he uh, finds his um, uh, I'm like Caleb. <laughs> where his people are, where his cultures are. This is the plan that we have. This program will help very much. And we have already started, and we are going to amplify a program to better the schools. And I am informing you because you all need to help us. You need to be watchful that what is supposed to happen actually happens. Because I can be giving the instructions and have the will to help you. Y puede haber hasta el and I can even give the money in the budget. Pero se tiene que convertir. But it has to be converted. Ese ideal en realidad this ideal into a reality because if you do not have the support of the people so that we can all make sure that all these programs actually are put to work and they benefit you then we will be wasting the time and the opportunity and the resources. 
que tomó la palabra tiene toda la razón. Nos entregaron un elefante. He says what the uh, companion was saying. He was saying the truth. They turned over to us an elephant. Así era el and that's how the government was. Un it was an elephant that was laying down. Reumatico. With rheumatoid arthritis. Y and with bad habits. Y ya lo paramos, pero lo tenemos que empujar para que camine. And now we've stood that elephant up, but we have to push him to make him walk. Entre todos. By between all of us. Es un de lento. Because it is a slow moving or slow advancing body. Van a a el Eso es. And he says, are you going to help me? push this elephant and they said yes por eso les doy la and for this reason I give you the information Porque, si no la pues, ¿cómo ayuda? and if you did not have the information then how could you help les que ahora todas las escuelas van a tener su presupuesto And I am letting you know that all the schools are now going to have their own budget Para for maintenance. Cada escuela a tener ya como ha existido la sociedad de padres de familia. And now all the schools are going to have an association of uh, parents and teachers. Ahora se están And now they're renewing those committees de padre, de familia, de cada escuela. of parents of the families at each school. Y se le va a a ese de cada And we are going to turn over to that committee of every school Su presupuesto. their budget cada año. every year. Now here I want to make another comment. What is significant is that when they um, give this budget, they're going to be giving it to people that actually have a vested interest in getting the supplies, the teachers. They want the books and all the equipment that they need uh, to be able to educate. And also to the parents who have a vested interest. So they're not going to let people who's who know who have no children be Uh, part of the committee. It has to be someone who has a vested interest, who has children that are actually in the school, so that they can make sure that they will, their hearts will be in it, um, and that they will make sure and and have the things available for their own children at the schools uh, to take care of them. Right. Desde la tesorería de la federación va a llegar. La orden de pago hasta el comité de padres de familia. So he says it's going to come directly from the treasury to the committee head and uh, family member. De la escuela. De manera directa. It will come in a direct, direct manner. Sin intermediario. With no in-between man. He says nothing is going to go from agency to agency to agency. Everything will be directly. Nothing will be like that anymore. Because what happened was every agency was taking a cut. By the time the person got it, they got little, a little percentage of the amount they were supposed to get. So all the, all the people that were in the high-level positions that were supposed to be dispensing the... Uh, The, the money to the to the people were keeping it all so he's cutting out the middlemen cosas. Que sea 
we want it to go directly. Esto es la democracia. And this is what democracy is. Gobierno del pueblo, para el pueblo y con el pueblo. A government that's for the people, with the people, by the people. <laughs> oh, I, I think he said for the people last. <laughs> There's 170,000 schools en todo el país. in the whole country. Vamos a empezar con 103, and we're going to be starting with 103,000 schools con las más pobres, donde vive la gente más humilde. and we're going to be starting with the ones that are with the most impoverished areas, the most humble people. Las comunidades apartadas, marginadas. To the communities that are uh, aparted or parted away and in the most marginal areas. Ahí se forma el comité. Si es una escuela de cinco alumnos a cincuenta alumnos. And so there they will form a committee and if it is a school that has between 5 to 50 students, 150, pesos es lo que van a they will get 150,000 pesos for that school. Ya, eh, padres, van a qué hacen con ese and then the parents of that uh, family will, uh, or family members, will make decisions what the money is used for. If they needed to paint the school, para mejorar los techos, to better the ceilings or roofs, mejorar el baño, to better the bathrooms, or to go little by little because this support will be annually. Un aula más. Maybe making more uh, classrooms. Eso lo decide, eh, la gente. And that will be decided on by the people. Lo decide la asamblea. And that assembly will decide it. Si la escuela tiene de 50 a 150 alumnos, and if the school has between 50 and 150 students, 200,000 pesos. 200,000 pesos. Si tiene de 150 alumnos hacia adelante, and if they have more than 150 students, 500,000 pesos. 500,000 pesos. Se están formando estos comités. And we are now forming these committees. Lo único que estamos recomendando. The only thing we are recommending. No es obligatorio. And it is not obligatory. Es una sugerencia. It's only a suggestion de que el del that the treasurer of the committee sea mujer. be a woman. La mujer es más que el because women are more honorable than men. Oh! <laughs> And if he who doesn't like it can go take a flight in the presidential airplane. Van a llegar estos apoyos. And these supports are going to arrive. Cada escuela, su presupuesto anual. And every school will have its annual budget. Ese es un plan. That is a plan. Another plan that is also important that I will comment to you here in Tenango is that now it's costing us a lot of work. Se están de recursos, se están de 
Do you know how much we're distributing of funds in the country for the impoverished? In uh, elder adults, uh, disability, grants, support to the field workers, 300,000 million pesos a year. But what is happening to us? What's going on is there's no branches for banks. And so what happens is they get their card and in order to go get the funds, they have to drive two to three hours or go, not drive, but they might even have to take a, a train or, or buses. So then they have to go to where the branches are and they get there. And then they'll tell them there's no money. And they waste their time. And then the money that it costs them to get there. Because an elder alert can alert elder adult can not just show up by themselves. And someone has to accompany him. Or even someone who's disabled has to go with someone else. And how much do they pay in the transportation? And why did this occur? Because the bankers didn't care. They didn't care to have banks or branches where the poor people lived. And they left us only one little bank, which was called Bansefi. And he says, now that little bank is being converted to the bank of well-being, and it's going to be a huge bank. And they will have branches in every place. And there will be one here as well. From the Bank of Well-Being. And here you will come and take your financial uh, supports. And we have already initiated this. This with the engineers, the military engineers. Vamos a hacer and we're going to make 2,700 branches en las in strategic communities. Están mejor the ones that have the best um, locations so that it won't be so difficult for you to uh, pick up your funds. And the same thing when it comes to public works. We started with the schools and now we're going to continue with the roads and we have already begun that with the roads. He says, we've already started it in the place uh, called Oaxaca 
and I don't want to stir up any jealousy. Pero, but, allá son 570 municipios. in that place they have 570 municipalities. And 417 are uh, uses and customs uh, uh, areas. And they're municipalities that are run the way they used to run them before, where the people would meet in assemblies. And that's who, how they chose their authorities. No había los partidos. There were no parties. Y allá hay los and still, in those places, there are no parties. Allá hay la de que todos que dar a la There, they have the custom that everyone has to give service to the community. And they might be working in New York or Los Angeles. And they may be in the city of Mexico. And if it's their turn to give community service, they have to return to the community. One year and give service. And they begin as youths giving uh, service to the community. Como topiles, se les llama. They call them topiles. Como policías. Like policemen. Ahí van. Ascendiendo. And there they go and they ascend. Hasta llegar a formar parte del Consejo de Ancianos. Until they form part of the members of the Council of Elders. Y les mucho and it is very important to them to participate su in their communities eso les da un es una because that gives them prestige it's a recompense El estar a los demás, ¿eh? to be serving others that is love for your neighbor. El que se lleva a la which they are taking into practice. Wow. I just, uh, this, <laughs> this is uh, <clears throat> not over yet. So uh, I'm going to have to stop it here. But I did want to say, um, this goes on for quite a while. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me put it over here. So he's saying he's going to return to visit them. Oh. So, so the people were. Yay! Que viva Hidalgo! Yay! Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! It's so exciting. The people really love him. See what I mean? Look at he's weighted down with all the things they give him. Gosh, I wonder what he does with all those things. So they're going to be doing their song. But I want to show you, just so you can see, these are just some of the other places he went to. This is another community meeting. This was yesterday. And you can see they give them their, each uh, community has their own indigenous um, um, things that they do. Look, I'm going to put it on a little bit. Oh. See, they've already put things on them too. 
incredible. It's like these things that are coming out that I didn't even know about. Now that the president, this is him. Aquí estamos aquí en San Juan. Whoa, 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 that's loud. Admirando esta obra majestuosa. Fuimos a San Pablo del Monte, Tlaxcala, vamos a Tulancingo y pasamos aquí. So this was somewhere he was passing by. A ver, este acueducto. It's an aqueduct. Que se construyó hace cuatro siglos y medio. This aqueduct was built four and a half centuries ago. Hace 450 años. 450 para llevar years. agua de Zempuala a Otumba. So that it was there to take water from Zempuala to Otumba. Al estado de México. In the state of Mexico. Es una obra de 45 kilómetros. It is a work of 450 kilometers. Guinness. Imagine. Se inició that. en 1553. It was initiated in 1553. Me acuerdo por lo del 53. I remember it because of the 53 part. Y I sí. think that's his year of birth, only 19. Terminó en 1570, 17. And it ended in 1470? Uh, años. Mm. Do you know how much work, how much sacrifice? Fuerza de how much strength of character and will? De indígenas. De obreros, of indigenous people, of workers, de eh, los maestros constructores, these master con, uh, builders, y cuánta perseverancia, and also look at the perseverance, de este padre Tembleque, of que this father called Tembleque, se propuso that per pers he persisted and purposed el problema de la falta de agua. to resolve the problem of scarcity of water Construyendo este acueducto, esta gran obra. by constructing this great aqueduct this great work look at this work Esto es nuestro país. this is our country es grandeza. Look at the greatness of it. Grandeza cultural. Cultural greatness. Tanto en la época prehispánica. Also in the prehispanic era. Cuando florecen todas las culturas. When all the cultures flourished. Que son excepcionales which are exceptional de primer orden first rate todas las culturas eh, prehispánicas desde la cultura madre desde la cultura olmeca hasta la cultura all the uh, pre-hispanic um, uh, cultures and he's naming quite a few cultura de Otihuacán todas las culturas de México y eh, lo que se hizo en el periodo colonial and then what they did during the colonial period en los tres siglos de dominación colonial también during the three centuries of colonial dominion y estas obras de arquitectura estas obras de infraestructura hidráulica como and they also had hydraulic infrastructure. Los templos. The temples. Eh, que caracterizan, que distinguen a las ciudades coloniales de nuestro país. Eh, no es exagerar, pero esto es un país extraordinario, bellísimo. Es un orgullo. 
He says it's not to exaggerate, but this country is extraordinary, beautiful, something to be proud of. Ser Mexican. Being Mexican. Como México no. Hay dos. No. There are not two like Mexico. Abrazo. And he says hugs. <laughs> so let me show you another one. Oh, okay, we'll leave it right there. Uh, anyway, so those were. So you can el see. De México, Andrés oh, Manuel gosh, Obrador, well, let me see which ones are. This is where they're talking about uh, the. Um, Juliana Assange, um, where the president asked that um, they um, that they liberate him and not torture him. Ah, that was especially moving at the uh, conference. Uh, someone brought it up. And he said that this would represent a just cause. I know I'm kind of all over the place. It's just that and all these things are so interesting to me. Anyway, um, I'm going to take you back to the channel. I kind of wanted to show you. See, he's live again in another place. Look at this. Check this out. He just left this one place. Now he's at another place. Hold on. That's not the one. That can't be the one because I just left that one. Are you telling me they weren't done? I know they were done. Let me see. There has to be another one. Let's see. There must be another one. Yeah, that's the new one. This is the one that's live. So see? And this is actually live right now. So just so you could see, it just goes on and on. He does this all day long. Uh, on weekends, um, holidays, he's out there among the people. And uh, man, he's really a president to be proud of. Gosh, I don't know if anybody else is going to be able to uh, keep up. <laughs> okay, you guys, hugs and kisses, like the president says. I hope you enjoy this, and uh, I hope that you'll take the time and go to Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador's channel. Thanks. Bye.